Um, my name is Karen and I am a UX designer and I'm currently teaching myself to uh, code. Uh, I'm teaching myself web development with Khan Academy and right now I'm working through their HTML JavaScript making web pages interactive course. I already completed their uh, HTML CSS course and the JavaScript intro course which I recommend that you do if you haven't done those yet um, before trying to do any of the uh, challenges in this course. But anyway, um, right now I'm working through and I'm doing each of the challenges. This is the sixth challenge in the course and it is called Style Guide. And let's see what they're asking us to do. So first thing is they want us to change the color style. And what it says is this web page is all about trendy styles and you'll use JavaScript to fill in the trends and style them with CSS properties. In this first step, Use JavaScript to set the inner HTML of color L to your favorite color, and then use JavaScript to set a matching color property. Okay, in this first step, use JavaScript to set the inner HTML of color L to your favorite color. Okay. All right, so it wants us to set the text of this, um, of this variable to our favorite color and then we are going to change that text to actually be visually our favorite color cool <laughs> it's a little confusing but we got it okay let's see where is color L all right so we have our color they already created our color L variable for us and they're using uh, document get element by ID which we used at the very beginning of this course we haven't used it in a little while um, to get the element with the ID trendy color and that's right here so um, and that's this this text right here we're gonna replace that question mark cool all right so do 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 all right, I think I, I don't need a for loop since I'm only doing this once, so that's cool. So I'm just gonna say color L dot inner HTML equals red. <gasps> nice. All right, and if you see, that question mark did indeed turn to the text red. Okay, and now we're going to set the style. All right, and this is the new thing that we just learned in the last video with Pamela called uh, changing styles. So if I recall, we're going to go uh, color L dot uh, color L. Do we just say style dot style equals no style dot color equals red. No, that did not, that didn't work. Uh, it's not, oh no, it is red. What am I talking about? It totally turned red. I was looking at this question mark. What am I doing? <laughs> I was like, it matches the hint and everything. Okay, so Hopper was right. We did good. On to the next step. Okay, now it says change the handwriting style. Now use JavaScript to set the text of the hand L to your favorite celebrity's name and set a matching CSS font family property. Cool. All right, so let's see, var handle. Okay, so it's gonna be under here and I'm gonna say hand L equals, wait, dot inner HTML equals, and here's where I changed the text. And I'm going to say Matthew McConaughey because I think he is so talented and charismatic. There are so many great celebrities, to be honest. But um, he's just who came into my mind. Matthew McConaughey. Did I spell? I think that's right. And if not, eh. <laughs> All right, so. Oops. Um, okay, so the text, the text 
did indeed change to Matthew McConaughey. And now it says, set a matching CSS font property. All right, so hand L dot, I'm pretty sure it's style now. Um, and the thing about this one is I want to do font family. However, I recall from our last video that we don't want to use hyphens in JavaScript. They don't work. We need to use camel spacing, uh, uh, excuse me, camel casing, which is you capitalize every word um, after the first word. Mm, hand L style dot font family. Yeah, it seems weird to me. Again, this is one of those things where it seems kind of arbitrary, so I'm a little uncomfortable with it, but I'm going to try. Hand L dot style dot font family equals uh, some text popped up. It says you should set the font family to a generic family name. All right, that tells me that I'm on the right track, so that's cool. Um, let's do cursive. Yay! It totally changed his the style of Matthew McConaughey's name to cursive, and I bet that is exactly how he signs his name, y'all. On to the next step. Okay, change the frame style. Finally, use JavaScript to set the border of frame L to some style that you think looks good. Okay. Uh, frame L. Where is frame L? Or where is, what I mean is, where is the document that is referring to? Trying to frame, document get element by D. Okay, so frame L is storing this, um, this element that has the trendy frame ID, which is right here. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, look at my hint. Okay. It says frame L. Oh, no. It's all right. Dot. Let's say style. Dot border. <laughs> I'm really just guessing here, but hopefully this is correct. Um, all right. Some text popped up. Oh no, this guy's still smiling, so we must not be too far off. Are you specifying the border property completely? It should be with style color in that order. Do I need to change this? No. With style, okay. With uh, 10 pixels. Okay. Let's do nothing. Um, dotted. <gasps> Yay! Uh, yellow. Awesome. Cool. That is the trendiest. Let me tell you, that is absolutely the trendiest photo frame ever. And Hopper told us good job. So thanks so much for watching this video. We passed the challenge and I will see you in the next challenge.